Shalom and good morning from wherever you are watching me. My name is Prophet Tatiro of the Grace Christian Church International and the Pastor Philip Odongo. I welcome you to our divine part today as you wake up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This morning I want to speak about uh, something very vital and something very important in the life of a believer and that is faith. Bible says in the book of Hebrew, chapter number 11 and verse number 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right? I don't want to talk about many things, but I want to tell you that the Bible has said faith is a substance. Right? And all of you understand that a substance is tangible, a substance can be seen, and a substance can be witnessed with whoever speaks about it. So the Bible tells, the writer tells us that faith is a substance. Many people uh, understand faith from a point of it is only a belief. But you must also understand that faith is a substance. How is it a substance? The Bible said it's a substance of things hoped for, right? Things that you cannot see. So when you become a man of faith, when you, you, your faith is equipped, when your faith is grown, when your faith has reached to a level that you can see the things that you want tomorrow in the realm of the spirit and be able to download them to, the, to manifest in the physical, then you have reached a level of saying that faith is a substance, failure to which you have not reached the level yet. God said in the book of Genesis chapter number one that he has given us the power to take dominion over all the things of the earth, right? And here Hebrew tells us that faith is a substance. So this is a faith for dominion. You must reach a level where you can take a dominion of territories, take a dominion of things that which you desire, of things that which you see as a believer. You must be very sharp in mind to be able to see things, see opportunities, and be in a position to claim them by faith through prayer and begin to position yourself that you will see them materialize in your life. Mm. So Genesis chapter number 1 and verse number 26 we go there quickly. The Bible says, Genesis 1, verse number 26. Bible says, And God said, Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness. And it says, And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fall of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. Verse number 27 says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he, he created them. Right? And he says in 28, And God blessed them. And God said, let them be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea. Right? So in verse number 26, God tells us what he has given us. What has he given us? Power, dominion. You don't do that. You don't enter. You don't realize that unless you become a man of faith. Because times come when you don't see these things in the physical. You don't see them materialize all times that you walk. But you believe that you want to have them. So verse number 26 tells us what he has given us. He has given us dominion. And in verse number 28, he tells us how do we take dominion. Okay, he says, you be fruitful and you multiply. 
in the places where you are, in your workplace, in your business, in everything that you do, you must have a mind of fruitfulness. You must have a mind of multiplying that which you have. You have been given it. It's so belittled, but you can break it down and multiply it for your generation. You multiply it for the greatness of your tomorrow. So he answers us that we, we be fruitful and we multiply. It takes faith. So you must lift up your faith today. You must be a man and a woman of faith. As you wake up today, it shall be so great when you pray and ask the Lord, God, increase my faith. God, usher me into believing you, knowing that there are things I do not have by now. There are things I do not see in the physical, but already because they are substances, you can be able to download them, multiply them, break them down, multiply them, and take dominion, subdue them, take dominion, come over, rise over, begin to live a life that the Lord intended you to be. So wherever you are, make sure that with your faith, you can be in a position to access realms. See those things that you want. See the kind of life. See that which you desire tomorrow. Be able to download it by prayer and faith. And begin to live. Taking dominion. Multiplying. And increasing greatly. It takes faith. Today, I pray for you in the name of Jesus. As the Lord says... That them who have gone less of faith, they should pray and it shall be given to them. I pray that your faith shall be lifted up in the name of Jesus. That you shall be in a position to take dominion, to multiply, to be fruitful in that which you do. And you shall be great in all things. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Shalom.